Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and today's video we will be continuing like talking about Vigoroth and give you guys some good tips on how to use how to ideally use Vigoroth and how to beat the opposing Vigoroth as I noticed most people in the YouTube comments hate Vigoroth and uh, that's understandable I used to hate Vigoroth because it's just a, a like a one-dimensional Pokemon it's like counter 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 body slam five counters body slam like there is not that much creativity but in fact there is like some small tips i talked about in the previous bit video and in this video we will be continuing talking about the vigoroth because I, this is the third video i make about the same team so i'm assuming everyone is comfortable with this team from my view what so today we will be focusing on how to ideally use your own vigoroth how to beat their own vigoroth so let's go and okay something to always mention is that every team in evolution cup you always assume they have a vigoroth as we do have one we just saw one from the opponent so ideally when i see a vigoroth lead with this team ideally i want to do uh nine dragon breaths which is four seconds and a half and then swap to my own vigoroth and get a counter and if i sneak in a counter because i'm supposed to if i swap on nine dragon breaths my Vigoroth will get to the body slam before the opposing Vigoroth gets to the second body slam, which put me in a very comfortable situation. So this is step number one. And if you see, opponent didn't throw technically, so they, they decided to overfarm, but it doesn't matter because now they are at nine counters, which means they only have one. So you see, now they are very chipped. I can survive, they cannot survive. Opponent decided to swap out, so technically, now if you look at this, I still have two shields. Opponent has only one shield. Why? Because I made them use two shields from my own Vigoroth and I didn't shield their own Vigoroth. Remember that. So what's the play here? I need to go back to my own Dragonair and then farm, all the, farm them technically as much as possible. As I know, they have five. Okay, they have two. And now they are three Volta switches away from getting to a move. So I'm going to... Uh, throw this as soon as I, as I get it and then farm all the way down after a point to brought back the vigor so they do have a body slam because as I, as I said they had nine so they were one short and now I need to farm this thing all the way down that's my only play to be honest I think this game is is technically a GG because their charger bug was able to put lots of damage like the their bigger wasn't a risk in fact the risk on for me was uh uh, their, their own charger bug so another thing talk about this matchup opponent is going to win i know i've been complimenting shadow dragonair a lot but in this matchup opponent will be winning because they have non-shadow dragonair because two aerial aces ko dragon shadow dragonair but two aerial aces do not ko non-shadow dragonair so opponent should get a move here and that should be a game for them so uh ideally no one runs non-shadow dragonair Oh wait, guess what? I think I have a ch I still have a chance. Look at that, guys. Shadow Dragonair is still the best Pokemon. That was a trick. Did you guys fell for it? Okay. Did you guys fell for that? Did you guys think I was about to lose to a, a, an inferior non-Shadow Dragonair? Well, like I'm using the superior version of it, the Shadow Dragonair? Yeah. Shadow always win, that's why you use it. In this matchup, Shadow Hunter, you just shield once and then farm all the way down. Uh, if they are smart, they usually throw a move and then dip out. Because they get they don't get to another one. So here they brought in their own Vigoroth. So I'm going to chip this. I'm going to chip. Why? Because I'm chipped. And then swap on the again. On, on same. On the uh, middle, like right after they do the fourth counter, before they do the fifth counter, right? Uh, they need one more counter. No, they get they get the counter when I throw my charge move technically. So now they have two. And look at that. My own Vigoroth beat their own Vigoroth. S see guys? This is how you beat it. And now we're in a tough situation. Uh, because so that's why I'm okay. I'm gonna decide to go to Togetic here and just to chip as much as possible. I'm going this is what like having Fairy Wind is actually helping by doing neutral damage here to Alolan Graveler and now i'm just going to keep throwing these uh, i think i am one dragon breath short of a move okay we ended up getting the move at the same time so guess what shadow dragonair is sweeping these teams so you see guys you saw guys that we got rid of their own vigoroth by having using our own vigoroth see so we're gonna chip 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 and then catch so this is how you play it. So our Vigoroth has only one play, which is baiting out, has two plays, baiting out what we 
the stuff that technically Dragonair want to farm down or or chip their own Vigoroth and make their own Vigoroth as useless as possible. See? So now they don't have a Vigoroth. They don't have the OP Pokemon because Vigoroth in this cup is OP, right? Uh, they brought back the Charger Bus and we have Energy Lead, which means we're supposed to destroy them in this matchup. There is no play for them. So we're going to shield here. Hopefully it's not a lolling Graveler because that thing has been giving me pain. Uh, okay, it's Golbat. And remember, guys, I said multiple times that this is where you need a steel wing okay fairy wind would lose you the game here on uh Togitech. so now we're just gonna throw this get the last shield and then swap out uh Togitech is bulky enough to tank a move very comfortably so you don't need to be to worry about this how we can shield and all we need to do is just to get to one aerial ace that's all that all we need And now we're just gonna we just we just need to get to the last aerial ace and this aerial ace should do enough damage to take out the charger boss sorry boss you're not on our side we like you when you are on this side and now moving into the next battle have you guys figured out okay that is okay i forgot to edit this but did you guys notice the question mark here which actually suggests to you uh the pokemons that you should be using like okay you can use bug fighting fairy i could swear every time the game asks me to use a fairy Pokemon, it's a Poison Dark, or it's a Houndoom. It's never the the only the single typing Dark. Yeah, it's either whenever it asks fairy, it's uh, uh, that's how I feel. I feel like it shouldn't recommend fairy when it's a, a a fire a fire Dark or it's a Poison or whenever it's Poison Dark. So okay, I I need help. What's your best Pokemon? What's the best Pokemon you guys use here? Okay, do you guys use Togetic or do you use something else? Because I feel like Togetic just makes it very slow. See, that's the Poison Dark. We go to the Groudon and Pet Spice Blade should take down that thing easily and comfortably. Look at that. Pet Spice Blade. Take the win. Okay, moving into the next one. Okay, Vigoroth, as I said nine dragon breaths and then catch on your own on, on your own bigger lot okay we didn't get the catch but there was a frame drop there so that, that was the reason it wasn't my fault and then here this is see see guys we are trying to to bait their own big lot they threw the poison fang and this is where i'm i i don't know what which one should be throwing but i like to throw body slam to force them to throw their own move because i should get to two ideally and i would rather them throwing their own energy here so i can farm as much as farm comfortably on my own Dragonair. So I'm going to CMP them. They get to a move on five, but there was like a bunch of frame drops here. The game wasn't running as smoothly as I would like. And yeah, this body slam should do lots of damage to the Vigoroth. If they don't shield, they decided to shield and then we go for the catch because body slam does almost nothing to Togetic. And they do have the charge boss. What the heck, dude? Please don't shield. Don't shield. Don't shield. Don't shield. Don't shield. Bro, thank you so much look at that that was a very nice opponent i told him to not shield they didn't but i'm forced to shield by the way i'm forced to shield again by the way because now we're just gonna aerial ace and then dip the hell out if they shield we can farm them all the way down yo let's go and now they are i think they need to throw oh i shouldn't be throwing dude that was oh my i shouldn't be throwing because i denied myself from getting a dragon breath and look at that they, they have one hp so that was a that, this game is, is on me 100 percent so i should have just went for the uh remember this video is about teaching you guys how to play uh, drag, uh vigoroth not how to use the dragonair right so we can misplay on dragonair as much as possible so opponent here was trying to play the vigoroth the way i'm explaining it which is actually the correct way so opponent is my opponent here is doing great uh, but remember, they have non-shadow dragon here. Uh, this should be a simul KO. Nope, nope. My, I have a... Okay, they have a bad IV, Vigoroth. That was the reason. So now they brought their own uh, thing. And now we just go to Togetic and wall everything about the dragon. And now dragon is forced to throw these useless body slams. Look at that. No damage. Another one. No damage. Did I throw on denying? Well, technically they swapped out, which means it was a perfect timing because they the, the swapped coast at all right so now just gonna double shield here 
the game freezes there and i think i lost at least one dragon breath dragon they're flexing on them let's go uh, i think i could have done one more dragon breath but it's actually fine it's not as miserable and now it's a race to the charge move and i'm supposed to cmp them as as, as i think it was a cmp this should take them out and now it's a race we get a frame drop which is kind of annoying i think i lost a dragon breath as well okay opponent having a, an octobus okay every time they have a dragon lead i'm just gonna swap out so this is something you guys need to be aware of they have a dragon lead just go bigger off okay why because you always have a better play if you have your dragon on a charger bug or something like gold bat okay if they have a dragon just swap out make them bring their own charger bug or their own gold bat uh i think this is a tough situation as the opponent shielded the rock slide that's why i hate i hate throwing rock slide to be honest so to be honest just just throw body slams here like don't even bother build to the rock slide but always throw body slam this is something this is like uh, the pro tip here i i went for the body slam because i know i'm supposed to get there and now I'm going to shield this avalanche or icy wind hopefully it's not an icy wind hopefully it's avalanche and it's avalanche i don't want my uh thing to be debuffed and they bring their own gold bat so this ancient power is coming is, go is going to come in handy i look at that guys i told you i'm saying it again this is why you run steel wing i feel like if i say steel wing Togetic again people will unsubscribe to the channel See you guys, Steel Wing, Steel Wing Togetic farming down two Pokemons. One of them is Golbat. See you, this is a horrible Pokemon, and it just, dude, yeah. I by the way, I lost four Dragon Breaths in that game. This game is just, is just doomed at, at this point because I failed to get the catch. So this game is a GG. I was featuring it because my opponent was very nice and they stopped by the channel and they said uh, I was lagging as well which validated my point because my chat was saying no I didn't lag I threw the game and if you are around my stream if you watch my stream you would know that my chat says that a lot uh oh, oh my look at that dynamic punch that did nothing I didn't tap my there because I wanted to get energy lead and if they have two moves here I counted six and they have two which means that was nine i think or ten so technically they got three three powder snows when i didn't get any dragon breaths and celio is oh my okay we lag again and they get to another move because of that yeah don't you guys love this game well i think it's on my end okay so i'm just gonna stop tapping now because this game is just unwinnable at this point because we don't have dynamic punch or counter to beat that regard so moving into the next one uh okay yeah see my opponent is there he said look like you lost a lot of dragon breaths on the lead against me yeah so that's something about the game so we don't we don't we don't bother, bother about it but warner warner g thank you so much for stopping by by the way that was very nice of you uh if you guys play against me feel free to stop by the stream and say gg i don't get salty as long as you don't use bastion and steelix if you use bastion steelix i'm gonna say some toxic stuff okay uh i think i'm just going to go for the full farm down here as it's like the correct play and they brought their own gold bat so hopefully we get to throw another one no since i'm extremely low all i need is so here we're not throwing anything again this see guys this is why you have steel wing on togetic i'm going to farm this thing all the way down and i decided to throw ancient power here for a boost for some reason I was fishing for the boost to be honest, but I don't think I need the boost. I can just go for the full farm down. Like, don't throw anything and just keep farming. They have to throw here. Look at that. If I didn't throw my charge move, I would have KO'd them here, by the way. And now we just dragon breath everything down and we take this game and that should be a win. And we, the game rewarded us by giving us a shadow, a shiny Latios from GBL. So thank you so much everyone for watching this is the end of the video hopefully you guys learned something from this video and the previous one as i am focusing on uh giving you guys tips on how to use vigoroth and how to play against vigoroth so thank you so much for watching this is the end of the video if you guys like these fat these battles these videos please leave a like if you're new to the channel subscribe and if you like any if you have any question feel free to leave in the comment section below and i will be glad to answer it thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video peace